I'm out here this morning testing the Garmin InReach Messenger Plus with the trackback, and I've tested it two different ways, but I've also shown how to see it on the device and when synced to the Explorer app. I'm gonna have screenshots of all this because I wasn't videoing when I was walking out here to test this, but what happened was I started at my truck and I did not start tracking. And real quick, I just wanna let you know that the Messenger Plus track backs just like the Garmin Enrich Mini 2. It's different than the 67i, but it's like the Mini 2. Well, I walked out not very far and then I started to track back. What the Messenger Plus does, again, like the Mini 2, is it puts down hidden tracks every 10 minutes and those tracks only stay in the device for about 24 hours and then they're gone. This is why on a long trip, you don't want to trust the hidden tracks. You want to actually start tracking or put waypoints down so you can see exactly how you came into the area where your adventure is. Since I hadn't gone very far, it only put one track down. It was a straight line back to the trailhead and then I just tracked back. But when I was tracking, I could see myself as I was walking. And the track went directly back to the trailhead, but then I could see that I was going to the right where I had actually came in because there was a forest on my left, and then I hit this road, and then I started coming back to the trailhead. So it's nice on the device itself, it'll say, you know, go this way, and it was to my left, and it was a straight line, but on my smartphone with the Explorer app, I could see exactly where I was and that the line was to my left, but my track and my trail actually was to the right because I was having to go around a forest. Well, I stopped tracking, I got back to my starting point, and then this time I started tracking. And when you start tracking, you'll actually see your track. You could see where I meandered a little bit and curved left and right and got up to the point where I'm videoing here right now. Then I started to track back, and in this case, it still showed the points as straight lines, but then it showed me exactly where I was going. But more importantly, it showed a, a blue line, I believe it was, that how I came in. So I was able to see two things. I saw these straight line points, but then I saw my actual trail because I had started tracking. But you can see I went off to the left and I went around some trees because I wanted to see how well it tracked myself and then I could still see the trail. And I was looking at both a device and my smartphone with the Explore app. Well, I finally stopped tracking and it's great because after the track, it keeps that activity. And I believe that activity turned green. So all those tracks are still here right now and I can delete them later, but they're still here and I can see exactly where I went. This is where I love this device and the Mini 2 because if you forget to start tracking, at least you can track back to safety. But I always recommend that you start tracking because when you start tracking, you get to see your tracks in detail and then you get to see exactly how to get back. And if for some reason you go off course, you can see the track you came in on and you can see where you're currently at and it's incredible. And if you're lost, you're gonna appreciate that. The last thing I want to mention is if you're concerned about tracking and you're on a less expensive subscription plan, change to a higher subscription plan. I think it's premium that I'm on right now, so I don't have to worry about tracks or paying for them or messaging. I can just track as much as I want. I can see all the detail, but then when I'm done with that adventure, or maybe even a few days later, I can go back to the less expensive subscription plan, but I still have that subscription plan for 30 days or that month. There's ways to save money on your subscription plan and I've got another video, you can check it out here and in the description below and I go through how to save money, whether it's a monthly plan or an annual plan. And on the monthly, you can suspend your subscription and then restart it. But on the annual, you could go from a more expensive plan to a less expensive plan and then back to the more expensive when you need it. And there's no cost to that. There is an annual, fee, but there's no cost to switching back and forth between plans. I hope you enjoyed this today and got something out of the track back because if you get lost or you're in an emergency, it's dark outside or snowing, you're going to want to be able to track back and you're really going to be happy if you're tracking and tracked back after that. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and thanks for joining me here at Outdoor Emergency Tech in Colorado. Now get out there and be safe.